There's a new hope for parents who have a child living with ADHD. A St. Louis clinic on the cutting edge of treating ADHD is opening a clinic right here in the Kansas City area. I spoke with Dr. Jason Rhodes about what makes this treatment so groundbreaking. Can you explain to us exactly what is neurofeedback? Sure. So neurofeedback is a way of training the brain. And so essentially what we're doing is that we begin the neurofeedback process with what's called a QEG, or brain map, which actually gives us an image of the brain so that we're able to see if someone has ADHD or anxiety or learning disabilities. And then from there, once we understand what's actually going on with the brain, we can do neurofeedback training. Now, this is really hard to explain on TV, so I'm gonna try my best. How do you get the map of the brain? The map of the brain, we have a, a cap that looks like a swim cap. And then we have 19 different sensors, and that goes on to the child or the individual's uh, scalp. And then we're recording electrical activity of the brain. Just like when you go in and have an EKG done, when they put those sensors on the chest, yeah. you're looking at the squiggly lines there, and they record the electrical activity of the heart to understand how the heart fun functioning. We do the same thing with the brain and so we have that cap and all those different sensors and we can record the brain's function. And then you do what? What's the next step in the process? So the mapping is the testing part to see okay. what is actually going on with the individual. And what we see with ADHD is that there's an underactivation of what's called the frontal lobes, the front part of the brain, which deals with executive function, paying attention, sequence and events, impulse control, all those type of, of activities. And if we see there's an underactivation there, the tr neurofeedback training happens where we place surface level sensors on the scalp and they're watching a movie that's being controlled by their brain. Now what I mean by that is that when their brain activates appropriately, they're watching a movie that gets brighter and brighter and brighter. And what we're doing is we're training the brain in this feedback, uh, thus neural feedback, in this feedback loop to activate appropriately. So just like working out a muscle when you go to the gym, mm -hmm. you're stimulating that muscle, make that muscle stronger, same thing that we're doing with the brain. How many rounds of this therapy and these appointments before you start to see results? We usually want to see results within the first five or six sessions. Um, so it's going to be subtle at first. So just uh -huh. like, I'll go back to the, the gym analogy there. Like you're going to start noticing strength, but it's going to be subtle and it builds on itself. So same thing that we're seeing here. As we start to do the training, usually in those first five or six sessions, we're like, hey, you know, they seem to be calmer. They seem to be more attentive. They seem to be more focused. And that's what we're looking for. And then it usually takes about, about 20, 25 hours broken into half hour sessions. So about 40 to 50 sessions to actually see the full progress. You described what ADHD looks like mm -hmm. when you map the brain. What does anxiety look like when you're mapping the brain? So anxiety is actually kind of the opposite of that. It's the overactivation of the brain. There is such a need in the community for people and parents who have a child that is living with ADHD mm -hmm. to be able to go someplace where they feel like their child is making progress. Exactly. Exactly. And that's where we've really specialized. And like I said, the last seven years, we've, we've helped a number, number of conditions with neurofeedback, but this has really been our specialty and the one that we, has separated us. And that's why we're now expanding to other markets to be able to help other people. Are these treatments that continue for the, the, the patient's entire childhood for years and years? Or is, this, is there a beginning, middle, and end to this? Uh, great question. We haven't covered that. Actually, we're looking at about a three-month process um, from beginning to end. And once okay. that's done, that's actually permanent. So there's no need Need for booster sessions or returning um, to, to do that. It's like rehabbing a muscle. Once that muscle is rehabbed and it's, it's back there, it's not going to atrophy away. St. Louis Neurotherapy Overland Park is holding a parent information night on October 11th at 7 p.m. The office is at 75th and College in Overland Park. You can RSVP by calling 1-877-763-ADHD or go online to STL ADHD.com to reserve your spot because seating is limited.